You right, Dan? How are we all doing? All right? I'm going to teach you how to play this. show you how I put that together with a looper. It was Sunday morning here in England, uh, just come up before nine o'clock, got to take the boys football today and then I've got a rehearsal this afternoon in London uh, for a gig this Saturday. Anyway, that's enough about me. So first of all we're going to look at, at the melody line and then we're going to look at how I put it together on the looper after. So this piece of music, it reminds me of like Hank Marvin as well, do you know the shadows with that? Uh, so that's a really good thing if, if you want to get this going as well, it's just to practice this and you can do this in front of TV, just an open note and all you've got to do is play the note and go one and up uh, and basically it's a down stroke and another down up to the and then you can practice while muting it here. So here's the main melody, it's in the key of A minor or C major. So this is a good way as well to learn all your open notes, so like E, F, G, A, B, C etc on the fretboard. Um, so we're going to start off with an open note of A. Sorry, that's wrong. We're going to start off with an open note of E above. So we've got this. And then, on the open A string. So the first part of the melody is just on the two strings. So look, open E string. down to the open D string and then we hit the E on the second fret or play around with the melody so look we got Positions. If you don't know what a position is um, on the guitar, basically it's, if I say we're in first position, it means your first finger takes care of all the notes in this fret, this one takes care of all the notes in this one, this one and this one. So it's like, this is his house, this house. So look, a finger for each fret basically, and don't move across, because that's what some people do when they start, and these two fingers get really strong and these ones are weak. So for example, if I said this tune's in fifth position, you would start in the fifth fret like your first finger. So look, this is in first position, so I'm not moving from this, look. That's the melody F, the first part. And 
then what I've done in the next time, which what you could do as a little tip, is to work out what the names of notes are. Remember in the key of C major, A minor, so there's no sharps or flats in this. And then I'll base the next part on the melody, which is the same, but up the octave, which we're going to do it in this fifth position, and base around the A minor pentatonic shape. But obviously we've got the notes from the A natural minor scale included in this. So this goes like this. So. That's not in the A minor pentatonic scale, but it's on the fourth fret of B. So, now here I stood up on that G string, but you could have gone. So, because you've learned the melody in the first part, it'd be good to use your ear to find the next part then. So the first part, look. Chord shape if you want an F look. Bend back. Or you could go. Uh, play around with it, have fun with the melody. So look, be like. some chords. Um, so we're going up. That's basically A minor, G with a bass, then a C, look. Using the mini bar F shape, look. Back to A minor. Then to F. Then D minor. A minor. So look, we've got bit is the looper because it's quite a long loop and you've got to watch your timing and that's what a loop is good for as well is working on timing because you could start a loop so just say when you get a looper first of all the first thing is is learning how to get it so it's a really clean cut between the start and the finish and the next thing is you've got to watch your timing because you could start at a certain speed and get slower or faster at the end so it's a couple of good things to work on now now the chords is first part is just a minor I'm palming it in my hand on the back of the bridge. I'm playing the bass note, the open A, and then just brushing down on the two strings below it, the D and the G string. Don't have to be exact, but you get this look. third finger up. So you got the bass player doing this. So you got look. Back to A minor. C. A minor. F. D minor. using a regular bar chord and I'm picking on this one a sixth string and then the fifth string for my bass player look so look and see what I'm doing here I'm releasing the pressure as well so double mute in this side and this side then to D minor look so I kind of like squeezing the fretboard and release look so if I play that 
that section, you got it. Now if you notice my wrist, it's the same thing still on the guitar, isn't it? If you start moving around like this, then you're not going to get the speed. And then, but practice it slow first, put it down in the looper so like... And as you get more confident, you can build it up. Basically, just putting your second finger on the B note and making sure you just hit the fifth string down the second note. Back to A minor. F. D minor. A minor. So, to get this rhythm, it's not easy, because if you just play chords like this, won't sound like it. You've got to keep this part of the hand kind of fixed on whatever guitar you're using on the bridge. And it wants to move from your wrist, not this movement. And remember with this hand, we're releasing and squeezing the guitar to get that sound up. It's kind of, it was Johnny Cash really, you know. That's where it comes from, so we've got the rhythm all the way through this. So try and put a whole piece of music together and do it like that. If you've got any questions, um, I just put it together quick. Um, so there's no editing or anything. So what you see is what you get with this video. So slow it down if you need to. Um, other little tips you can do in it, it is, is basically I can play around with it. So the little embellishments like... Ah, see, I can't remember now, look. See that little hammer? Slide notes and see that? But get the main part of it first. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and say so leave your comments down below and if you like it, please subscribe. Alright, see you later. Cheers, bye.